two months ago, nobody would have expected uh, this kind of mobilization today. It's, a, it's an incredible thing. Uh, nobody would have expected that unions in the enterprises, people in the street, okay, everybody, that, that there is a real social movement against the, this labor law, uh, especially on uh, the students, the youth, okay, uh, that is discovering that uh, you make uh, eight years of studies, uh, you work at a McDonald's or a Starbucks coffee at night to pay your studies, and then you discover that when you are going on the labor market, Market. I hate the word, but the labor market. You, maybe you will be fired uh, just on a whim, or because uh, because it's normal to fire people to have profits, etc., etc. So the um, I'd say the rules have been tainted. So people discovered uh, knew that more or less, okay, but uh, too much was too much. So two months ago we were unable to to uh, predict this kind of thing, and today. We are on two months, the law has been passed on the National Assembly, it goes to the Senate and it will go back. <coughs> it's very difficult to say what will happen in the, 50, uh, the 10 next days, let's say. So uh, the balance of power, even if there are, I, I will say it uh, with no problem, there are not big strikes, okay? There are special um, uh, focused strikes, okay? On uh, oil refineries, on garbage, on uh, transportation, etc. Strides that I, I should say are very popular, okay, because people feel that uh, it's cool to have people making strikes instead of you, okay, because it's difficult. The agenda of the government is a classical one just before the holidays. So uh, you are, for instance, I am a unionist, okay, you, you could cut that after, but I'm a unionist. I cannot call people to go on strike and not be on strike myself. This month I lost 800 euros. <laughs> so we give money to our union. So they will make a little credit for me. I will give it in three months, okay? But that's, that's the way it is. So I can, so you, you ask much for people and people that are, are able to, to block the machine, okay? They are not very well paid, okay? It's service, it's uh, operational uh, drivers in, uh, in trains, etc. So it's complicated to, uh, to say that. I should say that the, Behavior of the coalition, of the union coalition against labor law is a good one. Even if uh, it's complicated, some unions are maybe not as engaged as others. Uh, in the coalition, there is a UNEF, which is a big student union, very close to the Socialist Party. And even if it's difficult for men, uh, we, for them we have debates, there is a student coalition besides uh, the big uh, union coalition. They, still, they are still asking for the withdrawal, the complete withdrawal of the law. And classically, in this kind of uh, struggle, parts of the law are uh, modified so that there is a little door for unions that want to, to go in uh, so that they might uh, uh, dive in it. But in this case, uh, the, the united uh, front is, is uh, holding on and every union is asking for the withdrawal. So, uh, my pronostic, uh, I, I'd like it to, to be, but even if the law goes back, if it's passed, if there is again a decree, a uh, 49.3, uh, even if there is this, uh, there will have been some kind, something has happened, okay? A big, it's the biggest social movement since uh, six or seven years. I should say maybe, maybe before, because there is this new thing of uh, public mobilization, okay? So this petition, online petition that had uh, 1.5 million people in four days. I've never seen that. Solidar has a, a tradition, uh, maybe <laughs> on my computer I have a, a sticker that is uh, issued from Labour Notes. It's a, a conference that takes place in the United States every two years. And they call themselves trouble, troublemakers, boat rockers, etc., etc. So Solidar has a long tradition of minding what it is not her business, okay, for, for normal people, okay. So we mind migration, we mind racism, we mind fascism, etc., etc. We mind debt issues, tax issues, etc., because uh, we are a union that is very um, deep in, in the public sector, so we have uh, in the health, uh, in the postal sector, in uh, transportation, etc., etc. Uh, and 
since it exists, uh, we always went in uh, the um, internationalism, uh, but uh, in a way that we were present in the European social forums, world social forums, alter summit, etc. And it was completely natural to go into the Blockupy uh, sector. So we were not so much in the beginning because we were very curious of uh, what would happen. And there was nearly no relationships with uh, the German social movement. The contact has been made by Attack because we are one of the founders of Attack France, and uh, the contact has been made between Attack Germany and Attack France. And then, by this contact, we came to know those people and to work and to have some kind of a, a common objective. And it's very complicated for Blockupy today, for Blockupy uh, two, three, four years ago, because I remember Blockupy when uh, uh, any uh, every year they were postponing the inauguration of the ECB, and we said, "What would we do? <laughs> what are we going?" Just the question Blockupy is asking it itself today about the ECB having, having been opened and what do we do now? Okay, but we are still following the process and it's uh, exactly the example of uh, having, uh, because, and I will have another answer, very simple, if we do not do that, nobody would do that, okay? If, if there was not this conference today, who would do this kind of thing? It's very complicated. You need to have the means, you need to have the IDs, etc. the contacts to gather people. And Blockupy is more or less the same thing. They, they, they were there at the good moment, and it was, I guess, uh, going back, it, it is impossible to do better than what has been done on Blockupy. So we are very proud to, uh, to having uh, been part of this. <laughs> Merci beaucoup. Voilà.